Okay, we talked about Dent's explosiveness. We talked about his ability on his third step. Long legs. Short torso. That's built for one thing. That's speed. And on the third step, if you let him get into his third stride, that kind of velocity, he vanishes. Which means, on his third stride, he can rush here, inside, that's no big deal. He has the speed to rush here, and watch this, he has the speed to rush all the way over here. With Singletary rushing here, covering his gap. Once he took that second stride, once he reached here, you couldn't see him. He vanished. In the collisions of people, he would find a crack. He could slip through. You couldn't see him because he was moving so fast. You can't react to him when he reached that point of his third step. That's why all of us, the front line, had to make decisions on how to find Dent. I knew if I blocked him the entire game, then we had a shot. But the fact is, he wasn't going to line up against me on every single play. Because he's so good, he's going to create challenges on the inside. And put his great talent against, uh, against Pete Brock, the center, and, uh, and, and John Hanna, and, um, and Ron Wooten. People that don't know how to prepare for that kind of speed. I'm trained to do it. I'm the left tackle. That's what you do when you're the T-Rex. When I played in the NFL for 10 years with the Patriots and the Raiders, um, listen, I played with focus and commitment and dedication. That brought us from being 0-3 uh, this year in 85 to winning the next 12 games in the fourth quarter. We were a great team. It was the ultimate David versus Goliath. But as the left tackle, when you play all pro alley, you got to understand every single detail of the ball players you play against. I'll tell you more about that in just a second.